Hi, in this lesson, you will learn about how to add color to your P5JS sketches. Let's begin our color journey by looking at grayscale images. Grayscale images contain pixels colored with different shades of gray, which have no apparent color. A grayscale value can be represented by a single value of 0 to 255, from black to white. The smaller numbers closer to 0 represent the darker shade, or black, while larger numbers closer to 255 represent the lighter, or the white shade. Instead of passing one of the 140 provided colors to the background function, we can pass a grayscale value. The background will be the color with the grayscale value of 175. Pixels can also be colored. Like paint, we can create new colors by mixing together different colors. For digital color, a new color is generated by mixing together different amounts of red, green, and blue light, not paint. By adjusting the level of the light from each of the three colors, thousands of possible colors can be generated. Like grayscale values, each red, green, and blue values are expressed as a range from 0 to 255. 0 means there's no presence of the color, and 255 being the maximum amount of the color. As the number increases, the shade of the color gets brighter. To describe a digital color, their individual color is described by their red, green, and blue value and are listed in the order red, or R, green, or G, and blue, or B. In other words, digital colors are represented by their RGB values. Each color has a red value ranging from 0 to 255, a green value ranging from 0 to 255, and a blue value ranging from 0 to 255. Those colors are put together to generate a single color. Let's see what happens when we mix a color with a red value of 255, green value of 100, and a blue value of 175. Voila! The generated color is a shade of pink. This shade of pink can be reproduced using the same RGB values. We can also set the color of the background using RGB values. The first data point will be the red value, the second will be the green, and lastly, we add the blue. Let's see this in the editor. To change the background to the generated shade of pink, we write the name of the function background, parenthesis, the red value 255, comma, the green value 100, comma, the blue value 175, close parenthesis, and we end with a semicolon. And when we click run, the background color appears. We can also change the color of shapes. The fill function sets the color used to fill shapes. All shapes drawn after the fill function will be filled with the fill color. We can pass a predefined color, grayscale value, or RGB values to the fill function. The no fill function is used to remove the fill color of a shape. Let's see this in action. Let's change the color of the square to a light green shade that has an RGB value 174, 230, 174. To do this, I write the fill function before the shape like this. I write the name of the function, fill, parenthesis, the red value 174, comma, the green value 230, comma, blue value 174, close parenthesis, and we end the line with a semicolon. When we click the run button, we see the shape is filled in green. The fill function sets the color for all shapes that come after it. In this example, both the square and the circle are filled green. If I want each shape to have a different color, I would include two fill functions in my program. I would include the first one before the square shape, I would include the second one before the circle. To remove the fill color of a shape, we use the no fill function before the shape. We write the name of the function no fill, open parenthesis, 
This function does not have parameters, so nothing goes between the parentheses. Close parentheses, semicolon, and when we click run, the fill of the shape is completely gone. We can also change the color of the borders of the shapes. The stroke function sets the color used to draw lines and borders around shapes. All shapes drawn after the stroke function will have the borders with the stroke color. We can pass a predefined color, grayscale value, or RGB value to the function. The no scale function disables drawing the stroke. All shapes drawn after the no stroke function will not have a border. Let's see this in action. To change the stroke color of a shape, we call the stroke function before the shape. We write the name of the function, open parenthesis, the red value, 66, comma, the green value, 133, comma, the blue value, 244, close parenthesis, semicolon, and when we click the run button, the border of the shape is blue. To remove the border, we use the no-stroke function before the shape. We write the name of the function no-stroke. Open parenthesis, this function does not have any parameters, so nothing goes between the parentheses. Close parenthesis, semicolon, and when we click run, the shape has no border. Now let's add some color to our sketches.